In just three days, there will be a presidential inauguration in the armed camp of Washington. And the inaugural activities have already begun last night. One synonym for inauguration is consecration. As with all commencements, coronations and inaugural events, we all have the opportunity to consecrate or sanctify a new order of governance and a new constellation of leaders with our full spectrum attunement and our radiant thinking. Within a new year and a new moment, we may participate in a new heaven to bless a new earth in a new order of leadership with a christening or a Christing, bringing the Christ spirit as part of a web of protection and sacred surround at a time when there are multiple and chronic indications of danger. When bringing our deeper holiness of consecration, we have the opportunity to make all things new, including a recommitment to truth and the spirit of the true American vision within a new vibrational order, one in which we bring all that's new in ourselves as well. In so doing, we're not espousing a national chauvinism, which was named after the Frenchman Chauvin, who was so zealously patriotic about a dying vision of France and his loyalty to Napoleon, an emperor who had already been defeated and who was wearing no clothes. The emperor had and indeed currently has no clothes, and yet Chauvin was blindly patriotic to an old order and could not perceive evolution, could not see what was right about his and other nations. So unlike Chauvin and saluting the greatness in a new chapter for America, we also honor the greatness of other countries and peoples and the cooperative partnerships to be restored thereby worldwide. These are the endocrine glands, the heart, the brains of our earth. So we join together worldwide to create a canopy of attunement and a vibrational arc. We balance the cervicals of an unbalanced world. In the eyes of that world, America has had a black eye recently. And so we bring attunement to restore full vision and collaboration to globally surround pandemics, nuclear threats, climate change, and the desecration of the earth together. At the core of this consecration is our own inner climate change, the state of our own nuclear core, our own vaccination of viruses in consciousness and the enlightened thinking that it's our own inner governance of heart and mind in agreement with spirit upon which world governance depends. And it's the ongoing consistent building of sacred substance which brings about the ascension in consciousness, which leads to the revelation of real truth not the fake truth propagated by politicians and sensational mass media. Although the five freedoms in America's first amendment, speech, press, petition, assembly, and religion are all very important to many. It's a higher truth, which makes you free in a greater way, which David has been pointing out. This allows one to be free in a current of attunement, free in consciousness, free to discern with enlightened thinking what's genuinely real and true. This truth is very different than the guru who spouts to his disciples, we are all free thinkers. And his followers then reply concurrently, we are all free thinkers in sync. It's a more powerful freedom to ascend in consciousness and see entirely differently from the mountaintop, from what's seen on the plains and the mountainside to see while an eagle's wings and the freedom to think inside the mind of God. It's the freedom to choose where to look when the media wants you to focus incessantly perpetually upon what is disintegrating, on who's being punished, who's dying by the thousands, who's being impeached, and to look instead upon and consecrate the rising new order, the new America, the new world, the new heaven, 
within a canopy of that full spectrum attunement, which David has been emphasizing and expanding. <laughs> 